So I opened a gallery here a few years back in part because I'm originally from Washington Heights, which is the next neighborhood uh, north to here. And I thought it'd be fun to open a gallery in a neighborhood where there you know, aren't very many galleries. After we had started painting a couple birds in tribute to John James Audubon here next to my gallery, the National Audubon Society had just re released a climate report indicating that 314 North American bird species are threatened by climate change in the century. Part of the original idea of the project was neighborhood beautification. So it was to do 10 gates. Mark said, don't paint 10 birds, paint 314 birds. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. The idea was people wandering by and seeing all these gates and seeing sort of birds in an urban environment with an urban, you know, form of art would get intrigued and sort of investigate and, you know, learn more about the plight that birds face from climate change. We've noticed that there's been a great reaction in the neighborhood because there isn't a lot of art on the walls. Uh, it's not Brooklyn, it's not Bushwick, it's not Wynwood. So, you know, certainly on a, on a local level, the reaction has been really positive. Nobody has really done anything like Mary. You know, up to this point, it's really the only geometric bird that we have. You know, I, I like it. I think that's one of the things that makes the, the project exciting. The cemetery downtown at Trinity Church ran out of space, I think in the early 1840s. They bought this land. It was at the time next to John James Audubon's farm where he retired and lived the last 10 years of his life after he had you know, sort of completed his, his great oeuvre, the, the Birds of America. 